Hello everybody, my name is Turanka. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Minecraft. Yay, yet another Minecraft Let's Play. Woohoo! Why yet another Minecraft Let's Play? Because I've taken a look around the YouTubes and I came to the conclusion that there were clearly not enough of them. We've been playing on this server for about four months, maybe five. And we is me and two other people. So this is not a big server, but it's a cozy one and it's mine. You see, we are next to a mesa on what is actually a amplified savanna plateau, which is really nice to build in. And I'm about to show you around this server, Let's show you the progress far, um, the most important bits and bobs that already have been built, the work in progress parts that I'm a tiny bit ashamed of, but yeah, that's Minecraft for you. I want to give you an idea of what we're starting from in this series. What I've been doing so far, what um, my playstyle is, what my build style is, what I'm trying to do with this base. And yeah, I believe it might be the most sensible thing to take you to spawn. This is the very place we all spawned in. Close to the one side, Savannah and this gorgeous plateau on the other side. So let's take a quick look. This is um, a creative single player, by the way, just so we can take a look at what it was before, what it looked like before I got my hands on it. And this here is the very nook I built my base on. And as you can see, this massive mountain, this massive plateau, doesn't end with this part, there's another part, <laughs> and behind that mesa you can see over there, this big mesa, behind there is another savanna plateau. So there's quite a lot, a lot of place to do stuff in. Um, and this is the very place I set up my base. This is before. And this is the current state of affairs. Yeah. Nothing really special about this part, at least the outside part. Let's take a quick look. Whoop. Okay. How stable. Yeah, really nothing special. Just a quick little uh, straw hut to, to, yeah, take care of all my leather needs. I have not yet taken care of all my wool needs. That would be the next project and the llamas need a place too. Please don't ask where they came from. They are totally um, legally acquired. This place takes care of everything um, plantable. I've been starting to um, build custom trees. Some smaller ones and some bigger ones. I want to build more of those and try to um, improve my building style in them. Some of the trees are not yet customized and they will get at some point. Now this place here, this riverbed, I planted myself as well. Not completely done. The upper part you can see is clearly yeah, ugly as hell. This is my trusty steed. Yeah, you're a good boy. Yes. This is supposed to be a market stall. At one point there were villages inside, farming villages to trade with. All those goodies I've gathered here in this little hay cart. But they got snagged by either zombies or skeletons. I'm not quite sure. Maybe they decided to work somewhere else. I'm not... Yeah, they are gone now. This is my mining entrance. Pretty on the outside, um, nothing much on the inside, yet. <laughs> and I've prepared quite a lot of space up here for some sort of farming village. I'm not quite sure. I, wa I want to do more with villagers. We'll see where we get with this part. So, don't need that bone. Let's hop inside and take a look at the stuff there. 
So this is the main entrance part. You can either choose this one or this one. This is the first room I've built. Sort of the first storage room that is not the main storage room anymore. The main storage is in this grand hall, which is also one of the biggest work and project parts in this base, because this cave just takes forever to dig. And this storage system is my full-on pride. I'm, it's automated and not complete. I've set up the parts for all the really grindy stuff for every bit of stone, for every variation of, of dirt and sand and so on and so forth. This is the unsorted parts that come out of it at the end. And this here, this little well with its um, sewer system underneath, that is the entrance. Either you throw stuff inside here or in this shulker unloading system or this chest. Everything you put inside here will get automatically transported, sorted, and if it cannot be sorted yet, it will come out here. So this is the, whoops, hide the bed. I'm, I'm hiding beds everywhere in my face. That's kind of a, kind of a thing. You never know when you need to sleep. So this is my little workshop area. The most important stuff you need for crafting. Um, what else can I show you in here? Oh yeah, the upper part. This one is recently added, the wood storage part. As you can see, the item transportation system from the storage sorting unit is also going over here, taking, taking care of every lock in the game and every plank in the game. This is another part here that is currently work in progress. Let's not talk about it too much. This is just some basic utility farms. The side entrance, so to speak. <laughs> Little murals in the floor and on the walls. I really like those stuff. Kala Terracotta can do so much with that. Yeah, this is another one I really like. This is my smithy. It's automatic. I'm not sure if he, if he, if he has a name. I'm quite sure he will move in the future because I want to move this whole part on the same level as the main sorting cave. We'll see. For now, he is my automatic smelting unit. Input, fuel, sorted output. And unsorted output. Yeah. And everything around him is empty and undecorated. <laughs> oh no! Those are my utility villagers. Oops. They sell me tools and weapons because I had zomb zombified and um, cured them. Their prices are really, really low. <laughs> what comes in handy as well is my integrated iron farm. This is my iron bakery. This is where all the all the good cookies come from. which I need to trade with my villagers. <laughs> Up there is an iron farm. They drop in here, get burned, get sorted, and I can deliver those cookies over to my villagers. Yeah. Works perfectly. Also, my main source of XP. Up the stairs. This is, by the way, main entrance. I have stairs everywhere. Um, 
this here is my office. Yeah, I have an office. I'm going full on German in this part. You've seen it in the first sequences. This is my map room, my stuff to do room, where I, where I try to keep organized and, and monitor everything I've done and what I need to do next. As you can see, next one up is sheep farm. Quite important. Work in progress, maybe library, maybe something else. Work in progress, work in progress, work in progress. This part is really not good to show. Yeah. <laughs> what is not a work in progress but complete is my kitchen. I like this room. With my kitties on the table, because that's where they where they should be, totally. Nice brick oven. With meat. I like windows. And a place to wash your hands, because that is very important. And above the kitchen... My bedroom. Nothing fancy. Missing quite a lot of decoration. But... It's functional. One more part of the base. That I have to show you. The super secret laboratory. Yes. Well hidden, well guarded. Super secret. I have a bunch of clerics here. And those produce all the glowstone I need, all the inner pearls I need, and all the bottles of enchanting that I take on adventures with me. Or on the go mending. And of course my alchemy lab. I'm not quite done. Filling up all those, stocking up all those potions. But I'm doing a little bit of brewing every now and then, and it's getting there. Yeah. Also, down here in the mines, apart from, aside from my makeshift nether portal, which really could be prettier, there is, right from the beginning of when, when we started here, my villager breeding hole. Completely ugly, really, really messy, does its job, should be pretty fight somewhere in the future, maybe in the near future. I can't quite stand how this part looks. I want them to be integrated in the main part of the base, not in this ugly hole. This part, oh, this was a nice part actually, this um, rails, uh, this rail is coming from the mine. And this is an auto unlauder. I'm not using it, it quite as much as I, as I used to, because now I have shulker boxes, of course. But back in the day when I just got started, this part, if I was, uh, when I was digging down there, I send a minecart with all my goodies up here, it would get sorted automatically and the minecart would, after being sorted, come back down into the mine. Which was really, really handy at the start. Really handy. For now, you should have a vague idea of what I like to build, how I like to build stuff. Automated, but still fancy, to a degree. I like um, organic builds, I like, I like experimenting. <laughs> with color, with building materials, with everything. And you have seen the most important bits of my base. There's other stuff in the nether, for example, but We'll get there when the time comes. That should do it for the very first episode of this series. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.